We are in Frankfurt, Michigan at the Michigan 70.3. We didn't do a uh, racing series this last <clears throat> week. You kind of came into Michigan pretty late. You raced here in the past before, not in this exact town, but in Michigan before. Um, how was it to come back here? Great. Felt like a hometown race for sure. Really reminded me of Muskoka 70.3, my first pro race, a very similar vibe, not super huge race, you know, lake type swim, uh, the, the, just the, the terrain, the vegetation, all reminded me of Muskoka 70.3. So it was cool. It felt like kind of a uh, return to my roots. And I really enjoyed the race. It was a great, uh, just a beautiful venue. I've enjoyed the little town here. Excited to go get a burger next. And I would definitely come back if they hold a pro race here again next year. How, how, how'd you race go up? Everyone started pretty quick except me because I have a, a mental block for sure, both with regards to starting quick and cold water. So I started very easy and then I built into it. I got gaps from the pack that I eventually swam in by maybe 10 to 15 meters. And I know that I'm getting better at swimming or at least moving in the right direction because I was able to bridge down that gap. And so then I bridged down the gap to that group of guys and there was not much I could do. I'm not strong enough to lead the pack, but I was able to move up in the pack a bit. I may, I recall making one perhaps tactical error. There was one dude who I could tell was swimming quickly, but he seemed to be swimming a bit wide. So then I went to the group on the left and I went and swam on their feet, but he was swimming quicker than this group and eventually gapped that group and maybe put five to eight seconds into us. So that was a, that was maybe a tactical error, even though I knew he was swimming really well. I thought though he was swimming a bit too wide. Other than that, uneventful swim. Um, I made visible gains, but we still have a long, 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 long way to go. So swim was good, relatively good. I think I was 210 down to the front-ish. I think I was about uh, 50 down to Jackson Laundry. Couldn't have swam any better. Out onto the bike. Uh, not great power, you know, it was an okay ride. Wasn't my best, wasn't my worst. Um, I pulled the UCI bike off the wall after Milwaukee it had been retired for a year. I probably made a bit of an error in that I could, I should have just kept the, the UCI bike, the black UCI bike as it was, as I had been training on it, as I had a data point in, uh, Edmonton and Kona, for instance, in Dallas, for instance, but I haven't done any testing still. And I was like, oh, I'll just make it even more aggressive. And so I took 10 mils spacer off. So now I'm at probably sitting on from saddle to pad. I'm sitting on probably close to 70 mils of drop. And pretty quickly in the race, I was like, ah, oh, it's just too aggressive, man. I just can't, I can't push. You know, I went from in Milwaukee pushing lifetime best power. And now I'm pushing like not very good power. And I do think it's just because uh, the position is, is too aggressive now. And so having not done any testing, and don't get me wrong here, I'm going to be doing testing in October. I will start the testing process, uh, thorough testing process, and we will stay on it. Um, for having not done any testing, I think that's, a, that's an okay uh, idea is to just make an extremely aggressive posi looking position. Problem is you have to meld aggression with um, power production. And so I didn't have great power production yet but 335 to 337 at sea level not great power and also not horrible power but if you can't swim it would be considered bad power so anyways at one point uh i think i maybe pulled a few seconds back from jackson maybe 10 but otherwise he pretty well outbiked me the whole race uh, to be honest with you i did think jackson would probably be the top uh, contender in this one because he would come in with vengeance from having a poor performance at 70.3 worlds. In fact, I finished with him at 70.3 worlds and he was a bit taken aback with how bad his performance was. I think he didn't, he didn't really understand why. Um, but obviously he recovered well and, uh, fixed the why and had a phenomenal performance here. And so coming in, I figured that he would be the guy to beat. And so, yeah, I mean, you can't, you, you got to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with guys. I think the days of, you know, thinking you're going to run guys down are probably over. So how do you do that? Well, you first, it starts in the water. 
And certainly you can't be losing time on the bike. And I lost quite a bit of time on the bike. I think he outbiked me by 80 seconds or something like that. <clears throat> Unacceptable if you want to win. So to be honest with you, I didn't really think that I would win. Uh, so I was just trying to have a good day for myself. And so I entered second place, I think around maybe 50 kilometers ish on the bike. And then, yeah, I hung on to second for basically the rest of the race. And so I got off the bike. Jackson was, I believe, somewhere in the ballpark of two minutes ahead of me. I figured that would be uh, like extremely, I figured he was capable of like 111-ish or maybe even a 110 if he ran really well. And so, you know, was I capable of a sub 108? No. And so in my mind, I was like, okay, let's make this a good respectable race. And so it began as my mantra to myself was just keep all the Ks under 320. Let's try and break 110 for the half. And then into the headwind, it was hard to run 320. And I was like, all right, keep all the Ks under 325. Uh, but then actually Jackson started to come back. And so I did get a little bit motivated. And so then I was able to bring it back down. And I actually think I ended up negative splitting the run. And then it got really close with maybe three kilometers to go. I could see him. I figured he was maybe 150 meters ahead, something like that. And I figured the odds were close to zero, but hey, I'm here. Let's, let's find out. And so I closed the final 3K, I think, in, um, I think it was maybe 314, 313, 309. So certainly my best final 3Ks uh, in, a, in a half. And it was good for second place. Again, I've got lots of seconds, 10 seconds down. Uh, it was the best I could do. It was, it, was, it was everything I had. Kind of an interesting feeling, you know, um, I came home and I think, I think, well, I don't want to, I don't want to speak out of turn, but you know, I feel like the house sentiment was disappointment. <laughs> That's what I feel like the house sentiment was disappointment. And it's like the game's changed, man. Like the game is like Jackson just put on it. Like I was at 70.3 worlds, you know, I know had I done what I did today, I pushed the same, basically the same power today as I would, as I was pushing at worlds. And I was going to come off the bike with the group of guys who the top guy in the group, I think it was Yuri Kulin, who uh, he ran, I don't know, 112 or something, and he finished sixth. So if you meld what I bike today with a 109.50, that puts me in third. So I was at, you know, I, I, I was there. I know what kind of what it would have took to get into third. So what you saw from Jackson today, if he had done that three weeks ago, I'd say he was, he was in the ballpark of third. Uh, so, I mean, it's a world-class, I mean, what were the game now is very different than let's say when we did steelhead, another Michigan race in 2014, for instance, where, you know, you swim two minutes down, you ride 158 and then you run a 109, you're probably going to win. I mean, unfortunately the game has greatly evolved since then. And you've got guys who five, six years ago, you know, the top five guys, these were all W's in this level of a race, you know, this is very small first place place was i think four thousand dollars like back in the day i mean they were even bigger prize purses back then but the game has evolved i mean to to cut your teeth in this game now it's hard man like you got really good guys finishing fifth through eighth you know it, the problem is you've got guys like myself trying to like trying to get up to the world level and so like the level of these races is very high so i had a really good race jackson had a better race and Am I disappointed? Uh, you know, I don't think the sentiment should be disappointment. The sentiment should be, that's where you are. This is where you are. You've got places to improve, you know? Didn't swim front pack. You know, it's mechanics. Front pack swimming is mechanics, in my opinion. Uh, didn't push great power. Pretty uh, a decent speed to power, but not great. You know, these are all things that can be improved. Run okay. Jason West tunes you. I mean, he tunes you. Two minutes quicker, 100%. So there's lots of room for opportunity here. So I think it's, not disappointment. It's like, should be actually motivated. It's like things are moving in the right direction. Season is young. I know I keep saying that. It's 2024 though, right? No one got the memo. It's 2024. We're getting ready for 2024 here. All right. Season is young. This is first race of the season. Where do you go from here? For the rest? I go to Augusta, Georgia on Thursday. I go to Windsor, Ontario tomorrow morning. And then I go to Augusta, Georgia on Thursday. And I uh, am very motivated and I've drank a gallon of chocolate milk. I've drank a Coca-Cola. I'm gonna be hitting the orange juice and the apple juice hard. I'm gonna go get a burger. 
and I'm going to recover like I never recovered before. And I'm going to come in and fire on all cylinders. And Jackson Lawn, you better be ready, pal. You better be doing the same, my boy. Because I have vengeance in my heart now. <laughs>